Previously on Hardline. That's you wanted to see me, sir? Mendoza, have a seat. Let's change things up for you, too. Relax. He's not going to make you direct traffic. Well, not yet. So Leo, our good friend, he told us what he knew and he walked right out the door. He came in for protection, I thought. Tell Nick what Leo gave up. Drug bails. You're shitting me. Planes go up, drugs come down. Up. Right into the Everglades. Show him. A fishing map. Whose operation is this? Some shipbird named Remy Neltz. Two years ago, this Neltz character was nothing, a blip on the radar. Now, he runs the entire operation that employed Tyson Latchford. Sounds like a man of ambition. Yes, he does. I want you two to wade into that mud hole we call a national park and find out just how ambitious he is. Sir, why would Leo rat on his boss and then just walk out into the open? Well, Leo said he didn't feel safe around cops anymore. We're done. Actually, Mendoza, stay a minute. Of course. Your partner can be a bit of a hothead. Well, she believes in what she's doing, sir. <laughs> Good answer. Sit down, son. There are going to be some complaints about the Elmore. Excessive force, et cetera, et cetera. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Well, we appreciate that. Mm. Thank you, sir. How's your mother, Detective? Sorry, sir. Your mother? I'm sure she went through a lot to get you out of Cuba. <laughs> you don't become a detective, especially at your age, without a thorough background check. And you have a lot of background to check. Sir, it's all right. I know what it's like to have a shithead for a father, too. Took me a long time to find my way. And you? You're on the right path, son. Stay on it. Jesus Christ, Leo's map is confusing. The scale is all wrong, but I think this is it. Leo just gave Dawes that map. Just handed it over. Handed over an unbelievably shitty map. Yeah, but what's in it for him? That's what I don't understand. Well, he's obviously being pressured by someone or something. Whoever's dropping these bales, Leo wants us to know about it. So we can take out his competition, right? Leo knows he's done in Miami. I had to guess, he's probably setting up a meth lab in Iowa right about now. What the hell were you thinking anyway, beating him up like that? Leo had an attitude problem. And we could have had an internal affairs problem. There's our girl. Take us toward the drop. Narcos track their bales by radio. The number on Leo's map must be the frequency. And look at that. We got a pig. Get me close enough to a bale and I'll tag it with the tracking yard. That way when someone comes to pick these things up, we'll know exactly where they go. You know, back when the cartels ran their drugs through Miami, these swamps were filled with smugglers. Maybe history's repeating itself. <laughs> Let's hope not. Back then, cartel guys were gunning each other down at their kids' birthday parties. Yeah, I remember. I was just a kid back then, but I saw some crazy shit. Run on the sidewalk, hit bulls with their throat slashed. How the hell did your mom keep you out of all that shit? Well, it's gonna sound a little corny, but she worked hard. And she loved me. Yeah, that sounds pretty goddamn corny. <laughs> Mom was point. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Tagged it. Now let's see where it goes. We got another pig. Lead on, partner. There's at least 10 kilos in that bale. Americans love their drugs. My point is, this is not a small operation. Dawes wouldn't have us out here if it was. So say the cartels are using Miami to move product again. Why would they do that? 
My best guess? Mexico's gotten way too scary. The average smuggler will risk prison but not having his head chopped off by some Zeta. <laughs> Americans do love their drugs. And hey, it's a big deal that Dawes put us on this. You know that, right? Oh, I know. The problem is, the stuff we're doing we can't exactly bring to a DA. Who gives a shit? This is way more fun. By the way, Captain Dawes, that guy was reckless as hell when he was young. Yeah, I heard that about him. It's just a risky way to work, that's all. Word of advice. You want to get on the Captain's good side? Take the gloves off. Oh, is that what this is? Bare knuckle police work? Now you're catching on. The signal's near that parachute. Okay, I'll pull up to the dock. A lot of gators out here. Yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. Say thanks. Okay. Thanks. Maybe we should stick to the trail. More afraid of us than we are of them, huh? Let's just get out of the water. We gotta get up to that platform. Try this grappling hook. I borrowed it from SWAT. Ever used one before? No. Launch the hook at the platform. Narcos build these things? No. They're old observation platforms. For tourists. You good, Kai? How's your shoulder? Hurts like hell, actually. Here. Brought a zip line, too. You did come prepared. Aim for those planks. They'll make a good anchor. Bullseye. Okay. Follow me down. What's your scanner showing? That's not how we do things. Who's we? We. 
We all work for Nels. Remy takes care. God damn it, son. Keep it. It's that cop! Get out of there! Here we go! We're clear. Looks like that bail missed the target. Got a frequency for you. 120.13. See anything? Whoa. Look at all those pretty points of light. All up and down the lake. Well, let's take their boat and go check it out. Call this in? We're not exactly in our jurisdiction here. Let's find Nelts first. He's more ambitious than I thought. Shipbags always are. You know the thing that scares me the most about this drug war? Whoever wins will have a lot of money and a lot of guns. Yeah, and when they're done with each other, they're gonna come after us. The 80s all over again. Which is why Dawes wants to stop this now, before it gets to that. So if we're off the books, Deeply off the books. I'm fine with it. Saves lives. Hey, I'm not arguing. Then why don't you sound convinced? Because what's the end game? To put the big boys away, kingpins, and make it stick. You need a lot more than guns. I don't know. Do you? You're playing a dangerous game, detective. Good. They're my favorite kind to play. from the water tower. Give a scan before it gets too close. <sighs> got an Any luck with that thing? It hasn't fixed itself. Scan for any alarms. We need at least one more fan. Fan boat by the weekend. Scan. Get the I heard Remy's ramping up production. Not without another boat, he's doing. Hands up. You're under arrest. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Stay right where you are. You even a cop? 
Put out! I'm gonna go check it out. Hey, Jack, over there. Hold it right there. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <clears throat> Check over there. Make sure no one is here. Put your hands up. Is he crazy? I got this one, Nick. Gotta be drugs, money, or guns. Look around. Let's find out. Huh. Last gen tech. Those things must get a signal out here. Guy was supposed to go to a stadium for a meet later. The closest stadium is back in Miami. Yeah, I don't think that's what this means. Well, time to move on. What's in that envelope? We got more spots to check out. Okay, back to the boat. Like paperwork there. Cartels are using the blades again. It makes sense. It's big, empty. Look, all we need to do right now is find Nels. You think Nels is working with the cartels? Uh-uh. Cartels have their own pipelines. This, this is someone else. So what do you know about Nels? Rich family, dropped out of film school. He got his start trying to fund a movie with drug money. Let me guess. He forgot to make the movie. No, he made it. Up gas.
There's a dock ahead. Let's stop and have a look. Hey, Kai. I gotta ask you about something. What's up? You. And Tyson. No. Oh, that. Well, you know, a girl occasionally goes on dates. You dated Tyson? Look, I met him at a party. He had one date. Well, two. Two official dates. Wait, wait, wait. You dated a cocaine dealer. Cocaine broker. So when did he find out you were a cop? When I found out he was a cocaine broker. Look, believe it or not, he's not a bad guy. What the hell is this place? No idea. Head up by the windmill, and let's get a bird's eye. Probably a few different ways we could take this. Probably a few different ways we could take this. Head up by the windmill, and let's get a bird's eye. I'm not saying that anyone has to do anything. I'm just saying I'm going to church on Sunday. Right. Listen up. We got a fire coming. So we're gonna look professional. I want patrols, groups of two. Get moving. The meeting's just breaking up. They're fanning out. Get in a little closer. You're under arrest. Son of a bitch! How much more is coming in this week? Remy told me two, three planes a day. Man, Remy's crazy. Freeze! I got the other one. What? This 
was an old gator farm. That's clever. I'll give him that. Arnell's this guy's here. Talk to them. Can't get Tommy. Nell! Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I'm here. Who the fuck is this? It's Antonio. Where's Tommy? Yeah, um, uh, he's taking a shit. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah? Well, tell him that Nell said it's time for the meet. Okay. Where's he headed? Tommy knows where the fuck he's going, Antonio. Tell him we're on our way. Boring conversation anyway? The meeting on that guy's phone? That's with Nelts. He said they were headed... Miami Aquatic Stadium's been shut down for a while. That's where they gotta be meeting. Well, we're not gonna find it here. Stadium's just south of here. Hold tight. <laughs> 